So delighted to be joined by Kate O'Donovan, part of the victorious O'Donovan Rossa Munster Intermediate LGFA winning team. They beat St. Albans at the weekend, 10 points to seven. I suppose, uh, Kate, has it sunk in yet? Um, I think it'll probably take a while, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, definitely, I mean, seeing all the crowd and everything up in the stand, I think that's when it kind of really hit home. That's what we had done. So I suppose slowly but surely it's sinking in. Um, yeah, no, it's brilliant. What were the emotions like at the final whistle? Like I heard some of the players' interviews and they were just like, I couldn't believe it. Like, what was your own emotions afterwards? I suppose um, definitely relief, first of all. De absolutely relief. Um, and I think, you know, it was quite emotional. Like when we were walking out, I think that's kind of the first time we realised the extent of the volume of people there as well. Like the whole stand was just covered um, in red and white. So it was absolutely amazing then to see the amount of support we had. So... It was very emotional, um, but it was absolutely brilliant just to get the win. The the, the flags around the streets of uh, Skibbereen, every time you go into the town, now it's red and white. Like, what does it mean to you as players to have that support behind you from the town? Oh, it's fantastic. And like you say, I mean, Skibbereen has been painted in red and white and it's just absolutely brilliant to see. And, you know, I think especially for women's football as well, it's so nice to see the support getting behind us. Um, and like I suppose we've had such a, a loyal set of supporters even since we started off playing um, and to see that grow and grow and grow it was just like ourselves as, as we've developed as a squad um, it's just absolutely fantastic and I suppose that's what really gets you over the line I mean like when you think you've nothing left to give and you can hear that Ross's chant then in the crowd you know it says okay right I have to give a little bit more now and it does really get you over the line. The, the game itself against uh, St. Alves, you were five points to three down at half time. I suppose the obvious question, what did James O'Donovan say to you in the dressing room at half time? I suppose, um, well, I think our experience definitely helped, uh, helped us in that way. I mean, we had been in those situations before. I think even in our own Munster final last year, I think we were in a similar enough boat as well. Um, so I suppose in the change room, to be honest, we actually were quite calm and composed. Um, I think that ourselves as players, we knew that we had a little bit extra more to give you know, things like basic hand passing and things, there was some that were going astray. So I think that kind of gave us reassurance that, right, if we can get those right, that we can push on. Um, but I think the main thing really, I suppose, that was said to us by management was that, you know, in these kind of games, it's going to come down to the last 10, 15 minutes. So I suppose the kind of tactical input they had for us was just to stay in the game, stay in the game until that kind of 10, 15 minutes and then just absolutely give it everything then for the last um for the last quarter. And I suppose that's what we did. And I think our fitness obviously really stood to us, but I suppose obviously it comes from a mental standpoint as well. You know, you have to show really good character and strength and determination to be able to push over the line. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what the last 10, 15 minutes did for us. And if, 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 like to beat St. Albans is one team, but to beat them while outscoring them seven points to two in the second half, it's just an outstanding performance. Did you think in your wildest dreams that you could produce a second half performance like that in a Munster final? Um, I think, to be honest, I think we did know that we were able to step it up. Um, I think when we came in after the first half, um, I think we were, maybe it was a bit nerves or something at the start, but I do think that we all knew that we had more to give. So to be honest, I think like when it started to kind of come right for us, I, I don't think it was a major shock to any of us because we knew that we had that extra bit more to give um, and we knew we needed to put in a, a dog fight and we knew it was going to be difficult. But, you know, I had 100% confidence in the girls and I suppose we were able to back ourselves with that. Um, and drive on them. I guess the camaraderie of the group has um, come on fourfold in the last two seasons, obviously winning five championships back to back to back. Like, it's just outstanding. And I suppose, like, the team itself has gelled really well. Do you find that um, amongst, amongst you, do you think? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, like, obviously on the on the pitch, we're, we're a bunch of players, but, like, in reality, we're all just a really good bunch of friends. Um, So it's absolutely brilliant. And we all support each other. We're a very positive team, you know, if something doesn't go right, there's never never any negative comments or anything. It's always just next one, head up, you know, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Um, so yeah, we are a really tight knit uh, bunch of players. So um, I wouldn't I wouldn't want anyone else by my side to be honest. They're a great bunch of girls. Speaking about uh, the teammates, if uh, one of your teammates, Benuno Driscoll, you're you're living with her at the moment. So like yeah. <laughs> what's it what's it what's it like to live with her? Is it all talk about football or was it um, at home? Yeah, to be fair, it, it takes up a good bit. <laughs> it takes up a good bit, all right. We'd we'd be having the breakfast in the morning and you know, it, it, it is constantly a conversation in the house, all right. And even our other housemates, like they're huge supporters of us as well. Um, so the football will be featured a lot in the conversations. Um, but you know, it is brilliant. I mean, the, I suppose we are we're able to um, bounce ideas off each other, and you know, 
get the feedback from training and stuff and then go to training together. So yeah, no, it's just brilliant. It really hits us all together. When you won the junior uh, county title last season in 2023, did you honestly believe that you could go as far as an All-Ireland semi-final intermediate and win the Munster Intermediate at that point? I suppose at the start of the season, we'd always said that was obviously our main goal. But I remember James Donfune saying, or sorry, James O'Donovan, we really nicknamed him James Donfune, but I remember James O'Donovan saying to us, you know, that um, this team has no limits. And he said, like, really, there is no ceiling when it comes to this team that we really do need to have the belief in ourselves. But I suppose that first county title, that was, I suppose, our main goal. But then I suppose after that, momentum is a fantastic thing. I think when you're on a, a winning streak, it's just you feed off that positivity and you feed off those winnings and you just want more and more and more. So, yeah, I think obviously the county title really set us off for the journey ahead. What does the constant winning of games come down to? Like your record over the last year or so, only one loss in championship, five trophies as well. Like, what does that consistency come down to? Like, um, like it's a magnificent kind of a record there. Yeah, it is. In fairness, I mean, I think even that hasn't, when you're saying it now, like, it's it's even hard to to believe it as you're saying it. But, you know, I think it's it's really about getting the basics right. You know, I mean, like the skills, the training, the fitness, Um, I suppose, really, as from a mental standpoint, I suppose, it's really just having the belief in yourself that you can go out and keep going. And like I said before, I suppose, when you won and when you win the match, it really just, just sets you off on a winning streak. And I think that is really, really good. And you just have to keep going with that. Um, but yeah, no, we're we're very, we're very grateful to have the journey we have. And we talked about the camaraderie amongst the panel and the the quality players that you have. Like the quality players coming off the bench was a major um thing to come out of the St. Albans game mm-hmm. as well. Like the whole panel really contributed to this um, extraordinary achievement in many ways by O'Donnell and Rossa. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the panel was absolutely fantastic. I mean, Aoife Driscoll came on, got a point. Sinead Farrell came on, got a point. Like, the impact the panel has, you know, it is really one to party. And I think, obviously, that comes down, like, you need a strong panel all the way one to party to be able to go through those games because even injuries and everything, like, you never know when you need, um, you know, that major impact sub. And we had fantastic impact subs in the game that really delivered for us. And the, the man that knits it all together in many ways over the last uh, two seasons, James O'Donovan, what's he like as a manager? Like, he's a magnificent coach in the old but what is he like to, to, to be under? Oh, he's, he's absolutely brilliant, honestly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have words to describe him. He's, I suppose he's just so meticulous and he puts everything right down to perfection and everything. Really, we don't have to think about anything. He has it all thought out for us. He is, he's 10 steps ahead, really. I mean, like... What, We'd be joking that we're playing checkers, but he's playing chess. Like he's he's really a man of of huge wisdom when it comes to football. Um, and like he's such tactical input as well. So like you know we really trust him. Whatever anything he says, you know we put it in place, and it, it always ends up being delivered in a good result. Um, so we have we made their major uh, trust and uh, faith in James. Like the constant um, games where you win nearly all the time. Like it's like it's just a magnificent achievement. <laughs> Has any of the panel actually suffered um, two losses? I know they've suffered one in the last two years, but has any of the panel so well, most of the, but have any player in particular have only lost one game in their entire career? I know it is crazy when, when you put it into words like that. Um, on top of my head now, I can't think of anyone in particular, but yeah, I suppose just as a team, we're incredibly lucky and I know hard work really does pay off and I suppose that determination and everything, I suppose, is what gets us those winning um, streaks then. And you go into the other the semi-final now against either Anna Down or uh, Dunedin Connolly's for Edinburgh. You excited for that? Excited for that challenge? Oh, absolutely. I mean, how could you not be? I mean, like these things, they do not come around often at all. Even county titles don't come around often. So when there's an opportunity like this, you really do just have to, you know, go for it and give it all you've got. Um, so no, they'll be, you know, we'll we'll take our time now to rest and recover now this week. Um, obviously we're we've just played two really difficult games in the last two weekends. Um, so physically and mentally we do need to kind of actively recover now but after this week now we'll, we'll get going again um, and we'll start I suppose prepping for those games Is another chapter to be written about an all early win for O'Donnell and Rossa do you think in the next few weeks or uh, am I getting ahead of myself there? Yeah um, well, I suppose obviously that's of course the dream but I suppose like we've always had the mentality like you have to go game by game there's there's no point thinking down, I suppose, um, two steps down the line. We we do really take it game by game. And I suppose James has really instilled that in from us from the get-go. Um, that it very much is take by game, 
you play the same structures, play the same um, strategies and techniques, and then that will get us over the line. But I suppose obviously it's hard not to think about it. Um, so obviously in the back of the mind, it, it would be it would be there. But for mo- for now, we'll we'll just rest and recover this week, get going again with training, um, and then give the, the semi final our best shot. Hopefully the run does keep on going. Yeah, Kate, congratulations from everybody at the Southern Star to the other Rossi ladies football team. And can't thanks for coming onto the podcast today. Much appreciated. No problem. Thank you very much.